So I got another question submitted to me uh, from a student online that I wanted to go ahead and give a shot in a video. I like to answer questions during my live stream, but sometimes I just don't have the time to really get in a full explanation. So this time I chose a student's question that I'm going to go ahead and work through uh, for them in this video. So hopefully this is going to be helpful for you. All right, so this one says the function f is defined um, as 2x squared minus 2x plus 13 for 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to a, where a represents some constant. f of x in the form of a times x plus b squared plus c. So that's going to be our vertex form. So let's go ahead and work on that one uh, first. So if we wanted to go ahead and rewrite this, so if I have a 2x squared, you know, oops, that's a 2x squared minus, what's it, 12x plus 13. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just complete the square. Now, um, there's many ways we can look at completing the square. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, a 2 um, from the first term, and that's going to give me an x squared minus a 6x plus 13. All right, so completing the square, I'm going to take my middle term. I'm going to divide it by 2 and square it. So that's going to give me a x squared minus 6x. That's going to be plus 9. Um, plus 13. Now it's very important to recognize if I'm just adding 9 here inside the parentheses, um, again, you can have the set equal to, you know, f your name and your function here. So I just can't randomly add um, a 9 on the side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract a 9 that's also being multiplied by 2. That's going to allow me to now rewrite this as a 2 times x minus 3 quantity squared. And then let's see, 9 times 2 is going to be 18 plus a positive 13. That's going to be a negative 5. Okay, so there is my vertex form. We can call this um, the first part. And then the second part is going to state the value of a for which the graph um, y has a line of symmetry. So this is going to be a parabola, right? So we know this is a parabola, and this is going to be our vertex form. Now, um, we can probably understand, and the nice thing about having vertex form is we know the vertex here is at 3, negative 5. So let's just go ahead and do a little sketch here. So over here, we're going to have uh, 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3 and then down five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, now we can obviously plot points and you know we could get a little bit more detail if we want to, but in this case, I don't think it's really kind of necessary. I think it's just important for us to kind of do, understand a general idea of where this graph um, would be. So let's pretend the graph looks something like this, okay? All right, now the what the question was, was state the value a for which the graph uh, y equals f of x, so we're gonna call this, we're gonna set this equal to y. So here's my equation. So let's just call this y equals um, y equals this equation and has a line of symmetry. Well, you can see this line of symmetry is going to go through the vertex, right? So, all right, and that's going to occur here. And you can see we moved over three units. Now, I covered up, kind of covered up one of those three units. Uh, but in this case, we're going to have a, um, when a is equal to three, we're going to have a line of symmetry. All right, and that's going to be through the vertex again. And then the last point is when a has this value, find the range of three. Okay, so if we're going, you know, from three, I'm sorry. Yeah, when, when we're going from three here, you can see the graph goes all the way down. Well, it goes down, what, five units, right? So we could say the range, right, at three. So if we only went from zero or, you know, any negative, or even from zero, right, some, some high number, down to negative three. So what we want to do is say, well, at negative three, I'm sorry, at positive three, we know the um, we know the y-intercept is at negative, or so we know the y-value is at negative five, right? So our range here is going to be from negative five. Now what we need to do is figure out what the range is at zero, the y-intercept, which I did kind of in my brain. So let's make sure I did that correct. So zero minus three is negative three. Negative three squared is going to be nine. Nine times two is eighteen. Minus five is thirteen. So the highest value, which would be thirteen. So if I wanted to just kind of like redraw like a portion of that graph, I could just go ahead and use a different color and say, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then to, to negative 5. It would be from negative 5 up to 13. So negative 5 to positive 13, right? That's going to be the range of the graph from 0 to 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is how you would answer, uh, or at least how I would answer that question. Go ahead and visit my link at brianmclogan.com forward slash Q&A, and hopefully I can make a video just like this for your question or answer it on my live stream. I'll see you soon. Cheers.